Now let's go on to the water. The strips for the small fish are four inches wide. Now just cut a whole long strip. I have a ruler for cutting the, the triangles. This ruler has a blunt top on it and then you see a red line right here and then the bottom of the ruler. We'll take the blunt top and place it right at the very top of the strip. And that red line goes right along the bottom of the strip. And then just cut your triangles. You can go ahead and layer cut. Just pick up that ruler, turn it around. The important thing is that you get that blunt top right on the edge of the strip. And just keep on cutting across. Now, the large fish have larger strips. Makes sense. These strips are five inches wide for the water. This time place the blunt top right at the top of the strip and then just line up the bottom of the ruler with the bottom of the strip and cut. Just keep on cutting right across there. Well, I'm just going to move these aside and lay out a little fin for you. Let's just take one water, place it right side up. You take half of the, of the pair of fins and you just open those up like this and place them on either side. And that's how it looks like. They kind of line up across the top, big triangles at the bottom. Take the right stack, set it aside. Oop, you don't even want it in your way right now. And then take the water and flip it over to the left fin. And I want to carefully line this up for you because this is the most important part. Ah, perfect. Okay, when you flip that water, you want to place it so that you have this triangle right at the top in the fin color. You can see it sticking out straight across here. It goes edge to edge. And when you stitch your quarter inch seam, you want to hit that right there like that. You've also got a longer triangle sticking out at the bottom. And I think we're ready. So make sure you have that quarter inch seam allowance. I'm just carefully going to line that up there. Hold on to that. Now, because these pieces are odd shapes to start out with, it's good if you just hold on to your threads so you can make sure your machine doesn't make a meal out of those spin pieces. Okay, just sew right along there. Just go ahead and cut your threads. And this is exactly what it looks like. See right along at the top, it's got that triangle looking good. Okay, now place it with the fin on top. Open and press towards the fin. Just do a really good one. You can do it with your wooden iron or you can just do it with your regular iron. And that's what it looks like right up at the top. You might just clip those threads so you can get a good view. Okay, the second fin goes over in the right side. Now you can have your right fin. When you place that and line that up, you line up the top fin with that fin that's underneath. Just match up those triangles and it's exactly the same thing. You've got that quarter inch seam along there. So grab hold of those threads. There'll be no eating tops of fins on my sewing machine. Okay, zip it right along. Keep your edges lined up. Now you need to have two of these fins per fish. That sounds pretty easy to do. This is the last step on it. So all we're going to do is just open, press towards the fin. And just take a good look at it because this is perfect. You've got at least a quarter of an inch up here at the top. You've got an eighth of an inch right down here at the bottom. And that's exactly what it's supposed to be. Okay, next ruler is a squaring up ruler. There are the two sizes on one ruler. So for the small fish, we're just going to follow the red lines and the red triangle. Just take that red triangle and slide it right in. Ooh, get it perfect. All right, it's got that quarter inch seam all built in. Just hold your ruler down tight. Now, you can only trim two sides with the smaller one. So I'm just going to go across the top and up the side and trim those two sides away. Well, that would be really cool. You got that all trimmed away. Just get rid of those pieces now. I still have the left and the bottom, so I'm just going to take and turn them wrong side up. This time you line up the outside edge of the red line with the outside edge, the left and the bottom of the strip. Hold that ruler tight. Got the top to trim, cross here, and then the side. And that should be a perfect 
three and a half inches. Got your quarter inch there, your one eighth inch there. Well, this is three and a half inches. The ruler is actually four and a half inches, and that is the size for the larger pin. So it's easier to do this time. We just have to cut it on all four sides. So I put it on a rotating mat. I've lined up three lines on the ruler with the seams. Let me just get that perfect. Ooh, hold it down tight. Now, because it's on the rotating mat, you don't even need to move it. You can do across the top and the side, and then just very carefully turn that mat around. You've got the last two sides to do, and you've got perfect four and a half inch fins. Well, let me finish my fins, and I'll show you how to do the face and the body.